all right guys welcome back to the channel hope you're all keeping okay you guessed it i'm back down on the tidal stretch of the river esk next to newport transporter bridge i've not done a video here now for around three months and i thought it would be good to come back and see how we get on high water it's in around three and a half hours time stacks of time yet i always get here early because i like to suss out the ground in front of me where i am today nice and clean and no snags the height is 9.3 meters which in old money for newport is 11 meters because we add 1.7 a nice small tide perfect for this venue we're now early winter i'd love to get a good flounder but you know me I'm happy to catch anything but uh, in the past early winter at this place has been the best time for big flounder but we could also get whiting bass conger eel silver eel you just never know this place is one big mystery and that's why I love it so much I got here around 45 minutes ago and uh, it was quite calm and it was quite still now the old northwesterly is picking up. We've got a bit of cloud cover. We've got a bit of moisture in the air. So uh, I think today, in terms of the weather, is going to be a bit of uh, licorice all sorts. But it is what it is, and uh, that's one of, the, one of the things we have to put up with. Guys, enjoy the video, and hopefully we can get a fish or two. Right, that's the tackle sorted. I'm using two standard fixed spool reels, two standard beach rods, nothing fancy guys, down here, not needed. The rigs will be two hook flapper rigs with a size one and size two extra long shank hooks. Now these are a bit different because what I've done, next to the hook on the bottom snood, I've put a little round weight. And what that weight will do is to keep the bait pinned to the bottom now like i said earlier it's early winter and there's chance of flounder and flounder being a flat fish they live on the bottom they go along the bottom like that picking up their food and so hopefully those weights will uh, will do their job that's my theory anyway but uh, who knows but those rigs they will pick up anything regardless in terms of bait, I've got ragworm, squid, mackerel, and I've also brought some earthworm or garden worm because uh, in the past I've caught some cracking fish in here on uh, earthworm, so it's worth a crack. The water is flying up, but I'm going to wait probably another hour because uh, there's still quite a bit of mud in front of me. So in the meantime, I'll have a potch around, I'll make up a couple of rigs and uh, after that, we'll be ready to have our first cast. Right, we're fishing. Baits are in the water. On camera, it looks like the water is far away from me. It's not. It's fairly close now. So uh, yeah, let's hope we get something. On the left hand rod, on the top hook, I've put on some mackerel. The bottom hook is straight ragworm. On the right hand rod, the top hook, that is earthworm and squid. And the bottom hook is ragworm. I tell you what, this weather is all over the shop. One minute it's calm, the next is gusty, cloudy, then it goes bright. <laughs> all part of the fun though. Hopefully the fish won't care. I love this place, cracking spot. There we are guys, first cast, 
and the lovely little flounder. He's not massive, he's about half a pound, I expect. Oops, there we are. That was our mackerel, would you believe? Beautiful fish. Right, let's get him back in. Lovely start there guys with that flounder. I was quite shocked that uh, it took the mackerel because on the bottom hook I had two ragworms. But um, if they're hungry, they're hungry. Just popped him back and he swam off lovely. They're quite hardy flounder, very hardy fish. Yeah, can't fault that. Fish first cast, that's, uh, that's always a good sign. <laughs> I've just jinxed it now, haven't I? Dee -dee -dee. No need to cast far here. 20 yards from the water's edge and that'll do. Now and again on high water, I'll put a big bait out at range, but very rarely get anything. All my best fish at this place have been really close in. We've got a steep shelving bank, so it's quite deep, you know. Right down rod, guys. Ooh, lovely. I'm gonna wait because I've just cast that one out with loads of bait on it. But uh, hopefully you saw that then, nice knock. That's really close in that one. I put that right literally 10 yards from the water's edge. Now, if these are flounder, well, we know that one was because we caught one, the first one, but sometimes you have to be patient, you know, because they can play with, play with a bait for five, sometimes ten minutes. And it's always difficult to know when to strike, usually with a white den or a bass, you know, they're very aggressive, bang, 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 and you can strike fairly quickly. But with the old flounder, you've just got to wait a bit. Just, you know, they'll take in the worm, then they'll spit it back out, then they'll have a little chew. So yeah, you just never know really. I mean, that may not have been a flounder, but just in case, I'm going to wait a bit. Now, because the tide is coming in, the fish are on the move. They're going upstream, and often they're just grabbing the baits and they're moving on. I call it grab and go. You know, a quick snatch, off they go. But the old flounder, they tend to hang around, you know. Looks like he's gone now. If anything happens, guys, on there, I'll come back to you.
Yeah, we missed him. Never mind though. Let's get him back out there. Got a small tap, guys, on the left hand rod, but uh, I think it's either a small whiting or a small flounder. It's been going for a while now, but you know, very small taps. So, uh, whatever it is, it's not very big. Ah, there was something on there. The bite stopped, so I turned the camera off, but uh, a little rocklin. I've never caught a rocklin here before. In all the years I've been fishing it. There he is. I'll just, um, I'll get him unhooked and I'll show you properly then. Beautiful fish. Whoops. Oh, he's lively. Come on, sir. Come on, I'm gonna pop you back. Go, oh, he's, uh, he's lively. He's lively, this one. There he is. Little Rocklin. What a beautiful fish. It's only about, uh, I don't know, seven inches. Right, I'm gonna pop him back in. Since I walked her, I've been getting quite a few taps. Oh, <laughs> right down rod, right down rod, guys. Line's gone slack. That's a lovely flounder. Right, I'll get him unhooked and uh, I'll show you properly then. But that's that's a lovely fish. There we are, guys. That's a lovely flounder. Absolute cracker. You can't beat these winter flounder. Right, let's get him back in.
Yeah, no surprise there guys with that one. A small white then. There we are, oops. Right, let's pop him back in. He's gone. I tell you what, it's really dark. Every now and again, the sunshine pops out, but uh, that doesn't last for long. I mean, don't get me wrong, I prefer cloud cover, but it is, it is really dark for the time of day. It's only mid afternoon. Yeah, but uh, it's been a bit of fun so far. Right, time to make a move now guys. The tide is falling and also it's been fairly quiet for the past hour. I tell you what, it's getting proper dark now as well. But we can't complain, this session has been very enjoyable. We've had a few bites, we've had a few fish, job done. That flounder was a cracker and I was chuffed with that. When I go to the sea, uh, sometimes I blank, sometimes I catch. When I come here, in all fairness, something usually happens and once again the old faithful she's uh, given us a few fish guys as always thanks for watching it's mega appreciated any questions or comments you have pop them below and i'll get back to you until the next one look after yourselves take care all the best